Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So today I want to give you guys a follow-up scabs video. I want to give you guys kind of what I target in a scabs build. I have played Tess and scabs more than any hero, except maybe maybe ETC, because he shows up in like every single round, uh, in this buddies patch, and I have done really well with them. It does take a little bit of, of knowledge into getting the most out of these heroes, but when you get the most out of these heroes, you really are dominating lobbies. So the first thing is that it's really important to maintain high health so you want to stay on one a little bit longer. It's really important to hit that first buddy as fast as possible, even if it means selling some of your board and losing a few matches afterwards, because they are incredibly huge scalers for economy and power level, and they often allow you to then level up like crazy with little risk. And in terms of the end game builds, if you can incorporate some of the core cards that are pretty meta, you usually can outpace, out uh, economically, uh, you know, compete for some of these builds. And for scabs and tests, that's especially so because their buddies generate buddies from the people you are facing. Most buddies are typeless cards, which fuels Tea Masters. And it just so happens that Tea Master is the strongest card in the meta right now. Playing a three minion menagerie with Tea Master is generally how you win. And when you're talking about the, some of the most powerful heroes having extra advantages with these builds. Setting up these builds in the early turns can mean the difference between like first place and second. So have a look at the king of the meta. It was pretty fun to do Diablo this weekend though. I'm looking forward to trying the other classes next weekend and I'm also curious to see if they actually make any changes uh, by next weekend. I'm also curious to see how fast their update process is because there were a number of things changed. Uh, oh, actually, I wanted to see. There were a number of things changed um, from their last thing. Okay. Okay. So, like, Barb. What does Barb get? Classes. Arsenal system. Yes, this is what I want. So, this is what the Barbs don't have right now. I guess. It is time to bring your A game. One four should be better. to assign a specific equipped weapon for every attack skill and grant bonuses. They do have that. There's also a technique slot that unlocks via questline which is not obtainable in this release version. I am sending you oh. back in three, two, one. So we just have no idea what it is, simple as that. Is the beta over? I think it runs a few more hours, but uh, tomorrow I gotta get up early, so I wasn't gonna stream too late tonight. It ends in four hours. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think we keep our stuff until next weekend. So. Find the spectral charger in D4 beta. Oh yeah, I got that. What do you get for it? Do you get the mount in the normal game? Plugin's not working, let me reset it. That's how it's done. Good fight. Wait. Heroes must make sacrifices. Warning. A hell of a lot more challenging if you don't just google op builds do you think to the average person it's worth 90 dollars just for the weekend what do you mean for the weekend it releases 
Like you're only gonna play it for a few days? Or the beta weekend. I think getting a feel for the game is pretty important if you plan on playing series. Oh, I actually didn't fix Bob yet. Now I fixed Bob. I mean, if it was fixed, it just took a bit to calibrate itself, I guess. Four Diablos, which one has the best early level experience so far? Um, I feel in Diablo 1 and Diablo 2, you really kind of feel the environment. In Diablo 3, you just kind of blast through the early game, and it's like, screw this crap. So for those that play it all the time, it's it's actually kind of nice. D4 is uh, amazing if you're playing a Sork, and much less so if you're not. The Evergrowth lingers. Amazing. It's not... Just mechanically, the Sork skills are just really good. Like, the, the Barb Thorns build was really good, but it's like, walk up to a mob, maybe attack it, maybe the Thorns damage contributes, walk up to the other mob, do the same thing, then you walk up to the other mob, it's like the same thing. But then, like, the Sork is like, Chain Lightning, next room, right? You have unlocked your true potential. The Diablo phase over. Uh, basically... We're going to play a bunch next weekend. But until then, I'm not playing Diablo games. Damn it. 14, huh? Good, but I want to do that next turn. Holy crap. Okay. I guess we'll go with the four then. Can't stop a good weed. Pick a new member for your team. <laughs> think it has a lot of potential. Oh, that's fair. That's your signal. Time to go. You hope Druid Necro will be no worse than Sork?
dude has a summoner that's kinda good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the summoner. Where's your ticket, hon? Cover a six. Let's find a good minion type. Um, that's maybe good. Not too bad, I guess. But we can scale a few different ways. That's really good. Okay, let's play the other one. Uh, yeah, let's get another Yes. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servers. It's magic. It's no trick. It's magic. Colorful destruction. You have unlocked your true potential. Pretty hard at level. That one could be a game changer. I mean, I don't think so, but it's it's kind of cool. Why no magnets? Because they're only 6-6. Six, six. Any neutral is 6-6, six, six, but I sell it back, so it only costs 2 gold instead of 3. I'm sending you back in 3, 2, 1. Nice stack. Oh, 
Okay. My quest begins here. Ready to rise. Another ambitious recruit. The rightmost neutral? I mean, that's buffing my entire board because I'm not going to sell the warden. So this combo is plus two, plus two uh, every round. When above average fireworks, enjoy your... That's true. Nothing can slow you down. That's such a terrible hit. Oh, four dead. Curator died of the ghost. Oh my god. It'd be amazing to be able to save those. Cave Hydra. I don't know if that's really worth it though. Practice makes perfect. Your new sidekick. Why not sell one? For justice. Practice makes perfect. can slow you down. so weak. It's only turn 11. Four players died last turn. And I'm not sure I'm winning here, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose. Perfect order, Gas Coiler gave two Kangors. anymore my quest begins here yeah it summons two if I keep it I actually kind of want to keep it
Nothing can slow you down. No freeze for selfless? Oh yeah, we can freeze for selfless. Playing Diablo has not affected your RNG at all. We hit him for max, I guess. But all that means is he probably wasn't going to be killing anything. And, well, he really didn't. You have unlocked your true potential. Could have taunted us. Gotta sell one. I'll do what I can. Oh, I don't have one. Are you on the gifts? My quest begins here. First card, Kangor second card. Come on! Divine Shield, Kangor, okay. is still alive. <sighs> it was close. It's no 
will trick its magic. You can unlock that minion's true potential. Guide me. Nothing scares me. Except me. Well, I don't really need selfless against the last guy, so I guess it's fine. Nothing scares me. Except me. Nothing can slow you down. Actually against uh, Ticketus, it is turn 16, so he finally gets a good Ticketus prize. But yeah, I think I just sell the the warden here. It's kind of bad, but. Make it golden and return it to your hand. No, I think we'd do that. What is your ticket on? Would you care for a spot of tea? You're pushing your luck, my friend. Born for him. Instant candor. But he's a bit board locked. Okay. But it looks like he's got a nice block. I'll probably make a Diablo 4 video. Watch out for that.
for justice. Take defeat, stranger. You are doing super. Yeah, we got the 200 on the clear. Largely unscathed. 